Hello class, I'm back again with today's video on Chapter 1, Section 5, Geometric Properties of Linear Functions. Please don't forget to complete the WISC um, so you will be ready for class. So now let's take a look at um, linear functions. As you can see here, we have a line. And last video, we talked about two important components of a line, which is the slope of the line, which indicates the steepness, and any point on the line. It doesn't have to be the y-intercept. But in this case, if I take a look at this line, we can see that if I were to um, pick a point on the line, and I like to pick the corners that go through the corners, to get to another point on the line, I can go up 2 and over 1. And if I keep doing that up 2 and over 1, up 2 and over 1, I will always stay on this line. So this line has a slope of 2 as we can see, or 2 divided by 1. But then the uh, y-intercept of this line is at the point 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 0, 5. So it has a y-intercept of 5. So I can write the equation of this line as being in point in slope-intercept form, y equals 2x plus 5. Or I could have picked any coordinates of any of the points and wrote it in slope point-slope form. But what if I wanted to change one of the aspects of the line? Um, how would that affect the whole line? Well, let's say I don't want the y-intercept to be 5. Let's say I want the y-intercept to be negative 3. So I will have an equation that looks like this. y is equal to 2x minus 3. Well, all I have to do is take the same line and change the position of the line so that the line goes through the coordinate 0, negative 3. And as you can see here, I have not changed the slope of the line. The line is still has the same slope. The still steepness is just changed to a different position. So now the equation of this line is y is equal to 2x minus 3. Okay? These lines are very similar, even though they don't have the same uh, points that they pass through, they do have the same slope, and we call these lines parallel lines because they have the same slope um, on a plane and they will never intersect. They will never share the same two points. But what if I want to change not the y-intercept, if I want to keep the y-intercept, but still change coordinates on the line? Well, I can do that by changing the slope of the line. So over here, let's say I take this line, still have it go through positive 5. So now I have this particular equation. This line and this equ the equation of this line looks very similar, but instead of it having a slope of 5, I mean of 2, we're going to have a different slope. Okay? What if I change the slope to the negative slope? So instead of a slope of positive 2, I want to change it to negative 2. I can do that here. And as you can see here, I'm going down 2 over 1. I'm sure. Yeah down to over 1. So the equation of this line is now negative 2x plus 5. It still has the same type of slope, but instead of going in from left to, uh, instead of moving up a hill, it's going down a hill. Oops, sorry. <laughs> which means that um, the, the slopes are different, which means the equations are different. But in the previous one where the slopes were the same, they never did have a point where they intersected, but here we have when points when slopes are different, they do have a point where they intersect. So as you can see here, even if I didn't make this negative 2x, even if I just made it, kept it as a positive slope, eventually I would still have an intersection. Um, let me see. Um, of course, it could be at 5 or it could be at other places. So whenever the lines have different slopes, they will intersect at some point. Where that some point will be, it may not be in the visible domain, but eventually it will intersect. Now, what if the lines have a negative slope, I mean opposite slopes, but they intersect at right angles? Well, if they intersect at right angles, then they don't just have negative slope they have a negative reciprocal slope. So what do I mean by that? Over here, remember the rate of change was up 2 over 1. Well, now I'm going to take a look at the rate of change. Sorry, I had to move it so it would be absolutely correct. So the rate of change for this one is now 
down one over two, down one over two, down one over two, which means that the slopes are negative reciprocal. So in this case, if I were to move this line up so it still intersects at the y-intercept of one over a five, then we still have the same slope of down one over two. So the equation of this purple line now would be y equals negative one half x plus five. So in order for it to have neg uh, to be perpendicular lines, their slopes must be negative reciprocals. Or in some books, you may have learned if I multiply their slopes together, I would get negative one as well. So they don't have to necessarily intersect at the y-intercept, they can intersect at any of the points because, because their slopes are different, we know that they will intersect. But um, this is a special type of intersection because they intersect at a right angle. Okay, now let's move on to something else. So if we want to know which line is steeper, so if we're comparing their slopes, as you can see, let's move this back up here so we can take a look. Which line is the steeper line? Well, most of the time people will say, oh, the line that's positive is the more steeper line. And in this case, it just so happens to be. But when we talk about steepness, we're not talking about the larger positive number. We're talking about the magnitude of the number. So in this case, if I had made this slope a negative 2 and this slope a positive 1 half, then the lines that represent the slope of negative 2 would be the steeper line because it has a steeper rise over the run as far as the magnitude of the value, not the positive or negative. The positive and negative indicates direction. Okay, So really when we talk about steepness, just remember, very important to remember, that steepness is not talking about the larger positive number. It's talking about the larger number if the number was positive. So in this case, this would be the steeper line, and this would not be the steeper line because this has a smaller slope in magnitude value, not in numeric positive or negative value. Okay. Now let's take a, one last look at one particular special case of horizontal and vertical lines. It's always funny to me when people say talk, talk about a straight line and they um, think that this is not a straight line. Well, this is a straight line. So is this. And so is this, okay? What's different is their steepness, level of steepness. And in this case, the steepness of this line, it, it has a steepness of zero. So this slope is zero. This line has a, a positive steepness. This line has a negative steepness. But this line, if I were to climb a hill, that would be the most difficult hill to climb because it's vertical. So we don't have a number to represent how increasingly steep this line is. Well, not increasingly, but how, how large in level of steepness this line is. So we say that that slope is undefined. Okay, well, how does this translate to the equation of a line? Well, for a horizontal line, we can still use y is equal to mx plus b. But in this case, since our slope is 0, then this cancels out with a zero slope, and we just have y equals b. And that will represent the horizontal line that crosses the y-axis at b. In fact, every point on this line has coordinates where the um, y value is b. Okay, sorry. Now let's take a look at um, the vertical line. In this case, the vertical line has no steepness. But what do we notice? So we can't use slope. So I mean, it does have steepness. It just has a steepness that we is too large for us to indicate. But if I were to graph this on a grid, then I would notice that all the x coordinates have the same position. So that equation would be instead of y equals y can be anything, but the x value has to be whatever x value this is. And let's say that's a. And this will represent the equation of a vertical line that cross that always has the same x value of a. Okay? All right. I hope that's it. Sorry, it's a little bit too long. Bye-bye.